Hello. Welcome to Meow Club. I'm playing today Picks and Love Rush. It's got a whole 8-bit style going on. You might have noticed that I really like this style because I grew up with consoles like the Sega SNES, uh, sorry, the Sega Mega Drive and the SNES, the NES, Spectrum ZX. And this is an endless running game of sorts. This mode isn't, I suppose this isn't quite endless running. There are endless running modes. The cool thing though, as you can see, the graphics change as my combo progresses. Oh, and I can spit to get rid of the bats. But you don't want to spit on yourself. The problem is... Oh dear, I dropped a... Totally lost my combo there. Um, as the combo goes on, the graphics change, which is cool, but oh. <sighs> sorry, it's really hard this game. Oh. The graphics change, but it gets harder to see what's a bat and what's a coin and so on. This is the 5 minute rush mode, so basically I just have to get as high a score as possible in 5 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I'm just concentrating too hard on not dying to be able to talk about the game. But yeah, there's not too much to say about this game. It's got really cool music, cool graphics. It's one of the better and more original endless running games out there. And I'll show you some of the other modes in a minute, which are really very interesting. Let's kill these bats. Oh, that's cool. That's what I wanted to show you. won't be able to get up to the really cool graphics because I haven't played this game in such a long time but you can get kind of like Game Boy style graphics and other stuff I suppose they're all Game Boy style graphics but you can get the like original green screen Game Boy thing going on. By the way, the idea of um, this YouTube channel is I'm <coughs> pretty much going to be playing games that I either really really like and I think are great or games which are really really bad and need to be exposed to the world. So you can look forward to that <laughs> in future. Oh dear. Go, go, yeah. Give me coins. Can I make it to the next part? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. music changes too when you get to this level. And that music makes the game even more difficult.
I'm pretty sure this uh, soundtrack was made on LSDJ, which is the game, uh, the music production program for the Game Boy, which is pretty cool. I've got a couple of copies of that. Oh dear, back to silly old red Russian futuristic town. Ah. Oh. That's all gone to crap. Hey, that was simple enough. I doubt I'll get back to the level I was at, but can't be much longer to go. I don't know what's going on here. I have 44 seconds left. I need to not kill the angels. Oh. But yeah, it's very simple controls. There's just four buttons, left, right, jump and spit. And they're very responsive. Oh, this looks horrible. that is the first mode of play. Um, <clears throat> something nice about this game is that when I first bought it, actually I think it may have gone up in price since I first bought it. I think I paid about a dollar for it when I first got it. <coughs> and then they added these three new modes of play after I bought it. So I got it for a cheap price. This is really difficult, the Cursed Rush. This is just a one button game. It's nice music, but it's really hard. And this is just, um, this isn't endless, but it's <laughs> really hard to complete. Let's try the easiest one. I haven't even completed the easiest one of these. Oh. So yeah, you can see the difficulty on these. We've got hard harder, hardcore, hardcorer, and hardcorest. Then we've got the rainbow rush mode. This is infinite. And you just switch lanes like that and try to avoid smashing into a wall. Oh dear. Hey. That makes things look cooler, and I think increases my score. This mode's really fun to play as well. <coughs> I mean, this game would actually be pretty rubbish if it just had the one mode. And then there's this mode, and in the daytime I have to collect the suns, and then it changes to nighttime, and I have to collect the moons. And it starts out very easy, gets more difficult as we go. And 
This one's just a one button game as well. <coughs> so yeah, that's Pix and Love Rush. It's a really cute looking game. It's got a cool soundtrack, it's fun to play, it's cheap and there are four different modes which are all really good and really different. So please download this from the App Store and have fun with it. Bye bye.